We woke up to his vehicle not starting, and I have a nail appointment at 10, so he can't just take my vehicle. Hey. So I'm just gonna drop him off. So you should just order a starter nail then, or what? Well, he came with me to my nail appointment. <laughs> just coincidentally, my nail appointment and where he's working today, because he works different places, different times, different days. All over the city. Yeah, today just happened to be where my nail appointment is, so. Well, not where it is, but well, in the same area. Yeah, yeah, so that's coincidence. So we just went here together. His boss is gonna come shoot over here and grab him so I can have my car and then, yeah, it just sucks. <laughs> car just didn't start. Now yeah, we'll figure it out tonight. Figure it out after work. Like it didn't even go rah, rah, rah. No. It's just nothing? It just went. Did the lights come on? Yeah. Yeah, all the lights worked and everything else. Hmm. It's probably a starter. Not a big deal. If it's the alternator, I have another one, so whatever. That's good. But the starter on my parts vehicle is dead. Oh. <laughs> so I can't use that one. I have to get a new one. <laughs> oh, well. Oh, well, UPS guy coming to bring us something? Probably. I followed you guys from home. <laughs> uh -huh. Creepy. Five minutes until my nail appointment. Yay. How long is this one gonna take? Well, I'm always booked in for like two hours. Jesus. I'm reading all these tweets. I'm mad because everybody thinks Shugzy looks cool in a freaking Hello Kitty sweater. <laughs> no, he doesn't. Here is before. After. Oh Just kidding. <laughs> and after. Oh my God, emoji nail everyone read them and wait <laughs> emoji nails i have emoji nails to go along with my emoji sweatpants because i'm the emoji queen it might be tacky and i could give a shit speaking of shit i've got shit on my nails i've got poop on my nails am i the first person to put poop on the nails <laughs> i don't know but i just got lockbox and now i am going home ah! Oh my god, I'm like flipping. Oh, and then the guy's like looking at me weird because I'm like I literally freaked out. Okay, she is so good. Like the 100 is exactly like the 100. I'm being pranked right now by a moment with Jeff and I am being unprankable and pranking him right back because screw that. He sent me a text. He's like, someone just came here saying you want some prize, but I figured it was a scam and told the guy to take a hike and you weren't even here. And he said that he knew you were here. I'll ask Dalton when he gets out of the bathroom. And I said, what the hell? And I thought, Time I didn't know. I'm not FaceTiming. Hi! Hi! Got hi. you! Are you trying to get us back? <laughs> yeah, look, hi! <laughs> I'm playing Call of Duty right now. I'm in the middle of a game and I do not want to leave. But it's so funny. They thought that he could prank me, but I pranked him right back. What the situation was, okay, we got this like flyer thing in the door. They know you get flyers when you have a house or apartment or whatever. And for like pizza and stuff. Well, this flyer was from like a car company. And it said, pull the tab to, re to reveal your serial number. And it was like a, a tab like this. And it was almost, it looked like a pager. And I was just like worried about it because you guys know I have bad anxiety and I just like am a worry wart, hypochondriac, all those things. Like I just worry so much. So Dalton pulled this tab and right away this thing lit up and there was a serial number on there and it was like, go to the nearest whatever it was, fun factory or something like that. And like you could win $10,000, like go see what your serial number is. And I was like, no, f that. Like I'm scared. I'm such a worry wart. Like it's tracking me. It's GPS. <laughs> I was going off on this like serial number thing. We could have won 10 grand, like legitimately, we could have won 10 grand and I'm like too scared to even look at it because I'm psycho. So Dalton's like, well, let's go to this place and see if we want. I'm like, no way, it's like a GPS and it's gonna know where I am and steal all my information. <laughs> so I said, no, get it away. And Dalton went to go fix his Jimmy at his dad's house. So I said, can you do me a favor? Cause I'm a crazy. Can you take this GPS tracking thing and throw it away on your way? <laughs> like throw it in a garbage on your way there so it doesn't know where I am. And then about an hour after he left, that's when Jeff texted me and said that. Some guy came here saying you want a prize. And at the beginning I believed it. I was like, oh my God, somebody really came there? Like what the hell? And immediately I thought it was my ex because my ex is crazy. Let's just be honest, he's crazy. So I was like, oh my God. He goes. Yeah, I'll ask Dalton when he gets out. I'm like, what the heck? And at the, at the start, I'm like, what? I said, I've never given your address out to anyone and why would I win a prize? And I'm like freaking out and he goes, he said he tracked you here and gave me a card with these numbers and then there's the pin on there that was on that thing. He goes, does that mean anything? Right away, I was like, they're trying to prank me. I'm gonna prank him right back. So I said, no, that doesn't mean anything, but I'm on the phone right now with the police. So um, they might come there to ask you some questions because it could be my ex. So the cops might be there to question you. <laughs> I knew right away when he said that.
that. And then they FaceTimed me like instantly. Dalton was never in the bathroom. Nothing like that was happening. They were just trying to get me. <laughs> Team Barbie. <laughs> He's a boy. Yeah? What did you do to my cat? He's cute. Look at him. Where's the scissors? No, no, no. <laughs> I'm finding scissors and I'm cutting no. it off.